Hello everyone, uh, it's Marco from Deep Plugins and today I want to show you how to create a custom dashboard with Oxygen and VP Advanced Cleaner uh, in just a couple of minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the pages and create a dashboard page. Click publish. We can use uh, template none because we don't need the header and footer and let's start editing with oxygen. Oxygen loaded and I'm going to add a div because uh, I want to have a dark background. And the reason is because if we go to the front end, just a second. If I go to the front end, you can see that uh, the website is using the dark background and I want to be consistent with that. So, yes, it's going to be this one. And then let's just uh, add uh, something from the library. We'll need the uh, contact. And here you can uh, add your own uh, details. And we need uh, one more. Let's we'll just duplicate it. And I'm using the Swiss knife, so I have the custom shortcuts for that. In this case, is the command D. Okay, let's just clean up this. And this, and we will need the YouTube video. So it's a video. And I'm just going to copy one video for it. Let's paste it. And this can be a second. Editor video, so you can create a custom uh, video for your editors and you can just uh, give it to them like that. Uh, okay. This can be inside. Perfect. Actually don't need this one. And what actually do I want to wrap it with the div? Okay, and let's go here, margin auto auto okay and we actually need to put the darker yes it's this one borders let's just see what's why we are getting the Okay, we don't need this one. I just remove it. And let's just preview the page. And what you can see, we have uh, maybe too big space here. I can just remove this one. Perfect. And why I actually added uh, this div is because I would like to control the width so I don't need to create a custom classes for additional containers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a max width of maybe 700. Perfect. And if we 
preview the page okay awesome I don't want the video to be too much wide because the client can always just click this and open it and because I wanted to, to be able to show the video and the content content details right away and what we actually need is we actually need to copy this one and let's just go to the tools admin cleaner custom dashboard paste save and if you go to the dashboard you can see we already created awesome uh, dashboard that is uh, in the same branding as as the rest of the website so it's not going to be the ugly gray uh, dashboard that the cl client will see once he logs in but uh, let's be a little more uh, creative with this one let's uh, go to the plugins and let's uh, install one more plugin and that's the custom post types because what I want is uh, I want to create a couple of posts uh, so you can uh, split your tutorial for your editors into several sections so let's do that let's create a custom just a second to activate it go to the post types we can make call it uh, docs and let's just uh, add the post type we're going to get it here and let's just uh, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to add a couple of couple of posts okay I'm back so what I have done is uh, I created a couple of posts uh, each post have uh, titles and inside I just pasted the same uh, video so now let's go to the dashboard and let's remove this one and I was just pause the video for a second and I was cleaning up the all the tabs we don't actually need them and uh, let's now open the helpers and we need the repeater here and inside this I usually like to add the link wrapper it's under the basic perfect and let's just add the title perfect insert data title perfect and for this let's add the target blank because I want to open in a new tab and for the width let's make it full and we can add some padding okay perfect uh, we need to set up the query query is a custom post type you remember that we created the uh, docs perfect save and now let's just uh, grab some styles so if we go to freelance can do is actually we can get those so let's check and it should be this class link wrapper awesome okay 
and we'll just uh, preview this page. We can actually add a little smaller text. We can fine tune it like this because uh, I'm ed editing the ID because we are not going to use this tiles probably anywhere or at least not in this uh, tutorial uh, for the layout. Let's see if this is enough. Okay, I forgot to add the the flex perfect and actually we can maybe add some hover effect so on the hover what we can do let's just inspect let's just check uh, change the can change to a little lighter. Perfect. And this was done with the CSS. We'll just go to the CSS. And then the user will have the preview. Okay, perfect. And now let's go to the dashboard. And you can see that, uh, let's just edit our videos, so the user knows what he's seeing there, and after he clicks on it, okay, we forgot to add the link, let's just add the link, data, it's going to be a permalink, awesome, so if we reload it, yeah, and we actually didn't add the template for the docs. Let's go to the oxygen templates. Let's add the docs template. We don't want to inherit from anything singular. Uh, docs. Publish. Okay, it's still like this. So let's just uh, increase the template priority. Okay, perfect. And I know it's perfect because uh, we didn't edit the template, but uh, we don't see the previous one. Uh, then add div background color is before let's add the inner okay perfect let's add the h1 put it on the top insert data we need a tie so, okay, and let's just try to wrap this, okay, and out to left, out to right, uh, width, 100%, max width, like this okay let's see what's happening here okay and let's just copy this one One M and forty pixels. Let's do the same. So one M forty pixels. One M forty pixels, and it's going to be then consistent. This one. 
perfect. And let's just uh, add some minimum height. Uh, let's Awesome. Uh, maybe 100 is better. And that's it. So the user or the editor, once he lands to his uh, or log in into his website, he's going to see the editor videos that he can watch right away. Otherwise, uh, we forgot to edit the works. I just edit that quickly. I hate when I leave it like that. So once again, uh, edit the dashboard page. Perfect. Okay, and once the editor logs in, he's going to see uh, the tutorials. If he just doesn't uh, doesn't get something, or he needs more uh, more info, he can always contact you. Otherwise, he can just open, watch tutorial, close it, watch new one. So you can see how this is going to be handy when you're crafting your handoff with the clients and with the editors. Hope you guys like it, uh, come to the plugins Facebook group or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more useful videos like this. Thank you and bye.